And oh, hello. Hello. <laughs> hello, hello, hello. Hello. You are tuning in to WICR Thrasher Radio. Woo! On this nice, beautiful Thursday afternoon at 1.10 p.m. Yes, because we are never punctual. Never punctual. But... That's what makes us thrash! <laughs> because... Forget conformity. Yeah, right? <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Who needs that? Who needs that mess? I don't. Mm-hmm. Hi, I don't. Hello. <laughs> oh, I'm your host, Arlene. And I'm Fabio. What's <laughs> happening, Fabian? How are you? I'm doing I'm doing all right today. I'm doing I'm doing pretty good actually. Uh mm-hmm. a little tired, a little sleepy. Uh got a big surprise, got an exam next week, had no idea. <laughs> um awesome because I've been so well prepared. It's like um <laughs> story of yeah, our lives. Right? Story of my life, you know. Oh, you know, I'm not nervous though. I'm not nervous. Why? Because you know it's not the first time. <laughs> Obviously. Uh <laughs> But I'm um, feeling all right. Feeling all right. How about good. you, Arlene? How's your morning going so far? I'm a good. I'm pretty happy. Oh, yeah? Why? I'm What's the occasion? Happy. I'll tell you the occasion. There's a really special occasion. What? Oh, what is it? It's the start of Comic-Con. Yeah! Oh, my God. That's this weekend? It's, t- well, it's today. Well, it's today. It's today. It's today. Yeah, it's that's right. Day. forgot. And they keep I- bumping that thing, adding extra days before you know it's going to be a whole month. Oh, man. It's October 1st, Comic-Con. Oh, no, it's October 31st. It's the end of Comic-Con. No, I'm joking. You guys keep adding days. Like, Comic-Con keeps getting bigger and bigger that they keep adding days. days. No, really? I thought it was three days. No. First, I thought it was just uh, um, um, Saturday and Sunday. And then I heard that it was a Friday. And then, like, like two years later, it was like, oh, they added a a fourth day to it, Thursday, because it's so big. Who's this? No, it's always been a four-day weekend. Oh, no. No. Yeah. I didn't know. I don't go to Comic-Con. Have not been to Comic-Con kind of want to go to comic-con you should. i should right you know what it is that when the tickets go on sale I, I don't know like i'm not up to date with that information uh, it's all right i got so you. when october comes around i go oh comic-con's coming up right and then by then by the time i realize comic-con's coming up the tickets are all sold out oh so sold out <laughs> they're all they've been and then it's not even like they're sold out it's like no they've been sold out and I'm like, yeah i got what? my tickets right when they hit it, the internet yeah, right? You were waiting, right? Oh, yeah. I didn't have class with it, and I was there waiting at 11. They said, like, oh, Instant Cute opens up at 11, so you could wait on, like, the online shop for you to get your Comic-Con tickets. I'm like, what? Word? Okay. I'm in that. Got up at 11. Didn't get into the queue until an hour and a half later to get my tickets. Damn. So, yeah, that was fun. Exciting. Sounds so exciting. Yes. I... Got what I wanted. My, uh, what's it called? A three day pass. Three day pass. Three day really? Pass. Three day pass. Three day pass. Oh, yes. man. That's so cool, man. Three whole days. Are going to get boring? No. No? Oh, uh, yeah. Of course not. Do not disrespect by Comic Con ever again. Oh, okay. All right. All right. I'm sorry, Comic Con. To the gods of Comic Con, I formally apologize. Like, I'm sorry. What's wrong with you? Like, don't, don't disrespect, bro. The lords of the con. A little bit. So very excited. Uh, they're actually having the premiere of The Walking Dead tomorrow night. Really? Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Oh. There's a lot of stuff going on. I'm going to go try to see like a whole bunch of panels. Uh, the Adventure Time panel. Hey, yeah. Adventure Time. I'm trying to go see the Adventure Time panel. Uh, the, regu- the regular show panel. Uh, oh, yeah. Okay, regular show. Thanks. <laughs> Warriors, which is uh, this little cartoon, this new cartoon that's gaining popularity over on YouTube. If you don't, no, I don't watch cartoons on YouTube. The last thing I, I saw cartoon wise on on YouTube was that unicorn thing. Charlie. Yes, Charlie, and it was terrible. My girlfriend showed me, and it was absolutely terrible. I was like, your, "Why is this a thing?" Your girlfriend showed you recently. Yeah. Yeah. Uh huh. Uh-huh. I mean, I've seen this it before. Is, oh, I've seen okay. it before. That's Don't worry. I've seen it many times before. And every single other time I see it, I'm like, why is this a thing? And I always meet one person every once in a while, every few months or so, that's like, oh, this is hilarious. Have you seen this? And I'm just like, no. No, it's not funny. It's just, it doesn't make any sense. Like, it has maybe one joke. That I find it's, humorous. I don't like it. I don't like I'll it either. I'll be honest either, too. I don't like it. I don't, I don't like, like it. it. I don't like it. But. It's not my type of humor. Anyway, that's fine. It's not. You're gonna to each his own. To each his own, though. So, I'm very excited. I always said that I was going to start my cosplaying really early, and I was going to go as a vault dweller from Fallout. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah. nice. Yeah, I was. And then I You're going to get the blue jumpsuit and everything? I don't have 
time, Fabian. Why? <laughs> Do you know how much goes into creating a costume, uh, like to cosplay for Comic Con? Not, not for someone who dresses up for the first year. No. <laughs> a lot. Oh no work God. goes into it in the first time. But this is like this would be my third time. You know what's gonna be my my if I ever do go to Comic Con, you know what's you gonna will. be my my costume? What? Shining gun. Shining gun. That's it. I'm gonna put Itachi's Mangekyo Shining gun contacts in my eye Please. and go to con- Comic Con. Please. That's all I'm gonna do. That's all I need to do. The first Comic Con I went to, I went as Gasa Ayuno from Future Diaries. It's an anime for you. She has like pink hair, but no, I'm lying. I am. Such no, a liar. you did not. You I went as Batgirl. No, that was last year. Oh, that was last year. Last year. I'm lying. I want to go as Gasayuno. Why do I keep saying that? Gasayuno. Like What's wrong with me? I went as Misa Aman from uh, Death Note. Ooh, nice, yes. nice. Good touch, good touch. Yes, yes, yes. I like that character in that. That was a great anime. I went as Misa. And mm. last time, I went as Batgirl. Yeah. <laughs> and I reported it for ICTV. I remember. That was awesome. It was so much fun. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> and this year, yeah, I'm not doing anything. I don't know. I was thinking about Wonder Woman. I was thinking about a whole bunch of things. And then I got really lazy. And then school started. And now I have all these excuses. <laughs> <laughs> That's usually what happens. Usually, story of my life. That is the theme <laughs> for today. Story of my life. Gosh. Gosh. Anyway, so you should go to Comic Con if you're not going. I, I feel go so Comic-Con. sorry. Someone, someone swing me their ticket to Comic Con. I might be able to swing find that you ticket. A ticket. Swing two tickets. Find two tickets. Uh, She's like, that's impossible, Fabian. Yeah, yeah. It's literally impossible, right? Bit. Yeah, it a is. L- a little bit. So I, I wouldn't want to go alone. I go. Yeah, don't don't go alone. To I don't want to go Comments. alone. I'm gonna be sad. Comic-Con is the best thing ever. <laughs> anyway. Anyway. So I have a little show review. Ooh, what show? I went to Float's EP release show on Santos Party House. Oh uh, yeah, how was that? It was really good. It was a rainy day. Oh, uh, I know. I was here. Ew. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah I, I saw you the same day. I saw yeah, you the same day. I ended day. up meeting you here that night. Mm-hmm. Anyway. Um, <laughs> yeah, it was a really good show. Uh, PM Radio, uh, a Psychonaut Underground. Nice. They must have been good. Uh, Psychonaut Underground is pretty good. Yes. Uh, Psychonaut, another astronaut, and mm-hmm. obviously Float. Uh, PM Radio has improved greatly. Psychonaut heavy as always, and always they have a lot of devoted fans for being v- really unknown. That's really good though. Yeah, it's really it's, good. It's nice. It's nice. Uh, anyway, another astronaut though. Lord have mercy. <laughs> How was that? The ultimate nostalgia. I felt like I was back at Bronx Underground. Oh, nice! Wow. Yeah. They like because it's the original lineup mm-hmm. now. Oh, uh, they went back. Yeah, like the. I saw the well. They obviously played for me back in August. Yeah. But I can't dis- enjoy shows fully when I book them sometimes. <laughs> but they were great. They were great. But now this time around, like me being on in the crowd and actually enjoying stuff, it felt like Bronx Underground all over it. Yeah, yeah. that's awesome. I loved it. I loved it, Fabian. I loved it. Well, that that's why we go to shows for good feelings and happy vibes. Right. Mm-hmm. And um, float. Flo had a couple of surprises. Really? Yes. Uh, their EP was phenomenal. Wow. Um They thanked me in the credits. Hey, nice. they better. Right? <laughs> <laughs> a little bit. Uh, anyway, uh, they uh, they had a rapper come in. Ooh, really? Yeah, Ooh. yeah. Uh, Interesting. Nobody that we actually know. I forgot his name. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's like nobody whose name I'd remember. Yeah, because <laughs> I'm really sorry. But uh, sorry, we don't do rap. We do uh, strictly metal, <laughs> punk, rock. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but anyway, mm-hmm. uh, no, it was because uh, they have this song called uh, "Hard to Be a Prodigy," mm-hmm. and Ryan kind of raps in that song. It's like a spoken word song ish. Really? It's a really good. What song. is he trying to be a cheering? I don't know. What is he, what it's is he Ryan. <laughs> what is it's he a really doing? good song, though. Next thing uh, you know, he's going to come up with a monster, ma- a tiny monster mash guitar. Can he not? <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, and they brought up this, uh, a rapper, a friend of his, and he went off on stage, and it was great. Mm, it was pretty cool. Mm. But my favorite, my favorite, favorite, favorite thing that they did, what? they did a cover uh, mashup song of Dance Dance by Fall Out Boy. Oh, wow. Okay, and okay. Just Dance That's a good song. by Lady Gaga. 
Maybe. How was it? It was amazing. Was it really? Like, I knew they were talking about this idea for a while now, but I obviously was like, I wasn't going to talk about it. Right. But now that it happened, I, when they first started talking about it, I'm like, how, how is this going to work? I mean, like, it's a cool concept. It's a cool idea. But, um, I don't know. I don't know. What? It, it, it was, it I was, was good. Like, if, iffy about it. At really? First. But uh-huh. Yeah, yeah. Oh, when yeah, of course. Of course. And stuff. But, like, when they gone on, got on stage and they played that song, I was like, whoa. Whoa. <laughs> it was amazing. They actually got uh, Nick, the lead singer of Another Astronaut, to come in and, uh, like, do the duet with Ryan. Make mm. it into like a duet. Oh, really? So just dance and dance, dance. It's like, just dance. Da, 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 da. Okay, I'm not going to sing. But <laughs> it was great. It was honestly am- It was honestly amazing. Yeah, that's awesome. I that's highly really recommend cool. it for people. If mm. you like, I need to get a video of that. Yeah, why? Why was there? Oh, I was not there. Yeah, yes, Fabian, you were not there. Because I was not there. I'll come to the next one, I promise. It, it, I'll should. come take pictures. You should. You mm-hmm. should. You I should. promise. My pictures are bomb. Yeah, they are, though. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to come through. I'll take photos. No worries. Good. You better. I think I have what it takes to make it in that industry. <laughs> I think so, too. You know, you know, fun, fun fact. Recently, I've been, like, reconsidering my major, which is weird because I'm a, I'm a senior. So, obviously, it's going to go nowhere because I'm going to finish. But I'm, I'm feeling kind of sad. Reconsidering it to what? To media. To some sort mass of media con. arts, maybe mass con. Well, you're late. Why? I know, I know. I don't know, man. I don't know. Why have you been? Con- I've just been. It? I've been feeling. I've been feeling that route. I've been feeling Is that it route. Is because of everything I do? Conceited. No, 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 no. It has absolutely <laughs> nothing to do with you. Okay. <laughs> no, no, no. It's just um. It's just lately I've been taking more photographs and and looking at them and 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 I don't know. And I've been hearing from a lot of people. I have a really good, like uh, I, I take really good photos and that I have really good vision. And it's weird because I don't have any training at all. I've never even really even read online about taking photographs. That's fine. Like I told you to apply that to the CMJ. Uh music photographer right thing. i think i'm gonna take i think you know me and daniel's totally productions doing. company i need to take a step forward and i'm probably gonna take that a little bit more a lot more seriously maybe you guys should totally take now. more pictures at my shows yeah. uh-huh. <laughs> let's finish uh-huh. college and make sure uh-huh. we're all around uh-huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> Cough. but definitely Cough. yeah no no i will I'll, I'll definitely be at your next show good 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 yeah i have to but go you, you should totally do that and i support you in every way Mm, yeah, I know you do. Good, good. You're the best. <laughs> best friends. Ooh. Ooh, What's family for? Ooh. Uh, anyway, <laughs> talking about um, family. Punk. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Which is a good family member to thrash. <laughs> no, the reason why I say punk, because I'm putting this out there. My children would know, will know about punk rock. Oh, yeah, Everything. definitely. Oh, definitely. And I'm pretty sure yours, too. Uh, my kids will be so punk. Exactly, right? But what better way to do that than... Well, what do you have? You have some way to introduce them early? Yes, yes, what? yes, yes. What Apparently. is it? What is so it? We're in ma- mainstream news. Apparently, mm. there is now published a book Ooh. called What is Punk? Ooh. And it is a children's book. Yes. Really? For chil- for for like young kids? Well, what's a do you know the age range? Ch- children's book. I, I I don't actually. But uh it helps your kids discover punk music at an early age. What? What is it? Is it like illustrations of like some some guy in like a a, a blacked out hoodie with white lettering on it and no. like beige okay. cargo shorts and vans? So the book is called <laughs> What is Punk and it is a children's book and it uh can serve as a history lesson for potential potential fans. Mm-hmm. Of any age, um, and it's a history book, and it expresses and gives the exposure exposes the reader to like the rebellious subculture Ooh. in a friendly educational manner. So we're friendly. T- we're f- we're in a very friendly and an educational matter, telling these kids that one day they're gonna revolt on society. Yeah. Oh, awesome. So awesome. I don't see how we're government. how how we're not helping so the betterment of government. <laughs> <laughs> well, I am so ready for that. I'm but, ready for that too. Yeah, it is. I want to. I want my kids to be part of that movement. 
know, yeah, I know. wish there was one when I was younger. Oh, wait, there was one. It was my father. Ah, <laughs> yeah, my dad, too. Anyway, this is a 32-page book featuring clay recreations of iconic uh, moments in punk history. Yes. Let's hear this. And you can caption this. Uh, and you can get a... You can purchase a physical copy at Amazon for twelve dollars. Twelve bucks for specifically eleven dollars and eighty five cents. I'm gonna get my cousin that. I'm gonna get my little cousin that. And they have like a lot of recreations about like you know the punk, the Ramones, CBGB, mm. the bar scene, and I'm getting it for myself because I need a copy. <laughs> and I'll pass. She's like, it I want to read it. Duh. I do want to read have it though. For my kids in the very distant future. <laughs> you, you, my child. Yeah. Here's the book. Of what is punk? He's like five, or she's like five. You hand it, you hand it, it, you hand it to them, and, and open it slowly. And it's like, oh, right. and then, and then slowly you hear a, a slow, calm fade in of an epic guitar riff. Yes, <laughs> a little bit, a little bit. Yeah. I can see that happening. And I'm like, you pass this on to your children. <laughs> the legacy shall continue. The legacy shall continue. <laughs> They this will is, all know. This is very important. <laughs> this is very so, important. So, for those of you into punk and all that stuff, mm -hmm. specifically punk because this is punk, you know, whatever. And, and who Get really care? And who really care about carrying it on f to the next generation? Keep that scene right. alive. Exactly. That is what we're all about. That's Giving what, free PR to the author of this children's novel. Right. <laughs> there you go. I totally support this book. It has my seal of approval. Oh yeah. Let me do your PR. Probably don't need it, but still. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's fun. But talking about punk, I have something else. Oh, what else do you have? I heard Little Birdie told me. Oh, what you hear? AlternativePress.com. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that the Wonder Years and Motion City soundtrack are actually uh, splitting a seven-inch vinyl. Really? Oh, that's awesome. Right? The Wonder Years in Motion City soundtrack. Do you listen to Motion City? I do. Really? I do. I love them a lot. Uh, they're actually on tour, or will be on tour uh, this October with uh, the Wonder Years. Hey, yeah, the Wonder Years are, pre are are actually really good. And I grew yes. I grew up listening to Motion City soundtrack. Yes, yes. When I was younger, that song "Everything Is All Right" was my jam. Ooh, nice. If you guys don't know that, that song, watch, listen to that song and watch the music video. It's pretty weird. Anyway, who's uh, yeah, who who doesn't know that? Anyway, <laughs> they will uh be on tour with it's Motion City Soundtrack, The Wonder Years, and S State Champs, mm. and they're gonna be here at Webster Hall, uh, October seventeenth and the eighteenth. Hey, hey, Webster I Hall. I would I would want to go see them. Wait, I, when when I, they? October eight. Is a Sunday and October seventeen is a Saturday. Mm. Um, and tickets are twenty twenty eight dollars. Twenty eight bucks. Mm -hmm. No, I don't want to go see them. <laughs> I like I like Motion City and Wonder it's, Years, but it's Motion City though. I'm, yeah. They're probably uh, playing in the main. I, I I only like to pay a lot of money when I know it's gonna be an epic pit and like a motion city. Yes, it's gonna be fun to stand around and listen to. Be it probably it's probably gonna be really nice to be honest. Right. Probably, and I'm really considering going actually. Yes. Oh really? Yes, I I am. Uh, but it says here that uh the seven inch vinyl is actually a limited edition. What? Yes. Really? Oh, that might be really nice to pick up. Is it? It's it's uh. I don't really know how this works, but they're both what putting tracks on this. Yes, yes, seven inch vinyl. They're both putting a track. Oh, uh, dude, that's that's pretty cool. I actually doesn't say. I don't, I'm not sure how many tra tracks a seven inch vinyl holds. Yeah, yeah, that's what I was. That's what I was gonna get at. Yeah, yeah. I don't want to say it. I, I was like, I don't, oh, I don't really know. know. <laughs> Maybe one of our viewers can come, can can Please. tune in and uh, answer this question for us. Please. Don't really know how many tracks a yeah. seven inch holds. Mike Frere. Mike yeah, Frere. Frere. I mean, if a twelve inch holds twelve songs, maybe only seven. I, <laughs> maybe. An inch a song? Is that how it works? I, I don't. Like I don't so know. Ignorant. I don't. Yeah, I feel ignorant too. It's weird. <laughs> I don't. I don't do vinyl. I'm sorry. It's 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 a great sound. I agree, but I just don't have them, so I'm not that savvy. <laughs> uh, yes. Oh. Uh. Anyway. Mm. So. Once since they're going on tour, they're making this and making this a limited edition thing. Apparently, uh, if you get VIP ticket, the ticket package for this upcoming uh concert mm -hmm. tour thing, they uh 
ticket goers, concert goers, whatever. Uh, ticket we're, goers. I don't know. Ticket goers. Uh, ticket people that purchase tickets. <laughs> 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 will receive a code uh, which will allow them to buy the exclusive, uh, exclusive limited edition. You know, actually, I think it's pronounced ticket e. Ticket e. Because the person who sells it is the ticketer. So it would be the ticket E. Oh. <laughs> Actually, yeah. Interesting. <laughs> oh, oh, and apparently the color of choice for this vinyl is going to be transparent green and opaque red. Oh, nice. Very nice. Very oh, nice. I like that, that that transparent green. So you should you guys should definitely go see uh the Wonder Years in Yes, But if you are if you are tight on cash and can't choose a show, I recommend waiting one month for parkway drive to play yes because that is where i will be <laughs> yes definitely sitting in or yes. standing in irving plaza pro possibly yes. throwing legs yes uh to yes. parkway drive miss may i and the art is murder parkway drive yes <laughs> <laughs> hesitates a little bit it's fine um i'm so excited i heard that so bear tooth was i'm so excited i'm so excited I'm so excited. I, I'm so excited for that too. Sorry, I, sorry, no, Beartooth, sorry. Yeah. I sorry. heard that Beartooth was actually, where was it? I think Urban Plaza or Webster Hall, one of those two, last night, and I didn't know. Really? I was so upset. That's so terrible. I was so upset, but down in my city, and I didn't know. Right? What? What? Any, any, anyway, 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 to mark the back to Motion City and <laughs> yeah, right back to Motion. To mark the fabulous limited edition vinyl we're gonna play some classic motion city soundtrack mm. can you guess the song guess the song guess the song guess the song mm. i don't know everything is all right <laughs> because everything is all right okay it's a good song good enjoy <laughs> I didn't. I didn't notice you put 